Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about hashing, why the data structures that use hashing can provide you with O of 1 lookup. Uh, so as you see on the screen, the screen is divided in three sections. Uh, the two sections uh, on the left are linear search and binary search. So we'll quickly go through linear search and binary search and then move on to uh, uh, hashing and see how hashing performs better or uh, you know faster than these two uh, options. So let's say we have uh, the element that we want to search. Uh, let's call it K. K is equal to, let's say, 7. So the problem statement is we are given an input uh, collection which has integers from 1 to 7. And we want to check whether uh, K is present in, uh, in the given input array or in the given input data structure or no. So in case of linear search, what we will do is we will go through each element one by one, right? We will go through each element one by one uh, and we will either exhaust uh, the entire input array or go through the entire input array and not find one. Uh, or in worst case, we will find, uh, in worst case, let's say we, uh, we, we will find it at the last index of the input array or it will be a last element in that array in which case the time complexity will be length of the array uh, right so linear search is o of n uh, considering n uh, assuming n is the length of the input array uh, whereas in case of binary search the time complexity of binary search uh, we know it's log of n so the number of comparisons that we will do in worst case are o of log n to determine whether k is present in the input array or not so instead of comparing each element in case of binary search, we only compare K with the middle element of uh, the given input. And then based on the comparison, if K is greater than or less than M based on that, we discard one half of the input array. So the search space is reduced by half on every comparison in case of binary search. So in worst case, the number of comparisons will be log of N. Um, okay. so. So, in bo so we, s we see that in both the algorithms, uh, they work by comparison. We take K and compare them. Uh, we take K and compare it with, in case of linear search, with all the elements in worst case. Uh, uh, in case of binary search, it will be log of n elements. So basically, these algorithms work by comparing K with either all or some elements, uh, some uh, elements of the given input collection. Right, so they work by comparison. Okay, so now let's look at uh, a data structure that uses hashing internally and let's see how it is able to achieve O of 1 lookup. Uh, now, if you look at linear search and binary search again, uh, the idea here is that we want to find the index where or whether we want to find whether there's an index where the given element is available. So in case of k equal to 7, uh, we want to find whether is there any index here that contains value 7 right so same in case of binary search or linear search but the idea is that we want to find the index uh, if present that contains value k equal to 7 now imagine uh, and and this works based on comparison now imagine if if we are if we are direct if we are able to directly calculate the index just from the value of k then uh, much quicker right we, we it will not involve any comparisons basically so let me write down what i'm saying so here k is equal to 7 now let's say we have a function or some mathematical equation that accepts k as input uh, let's call it as hash function which takes k as input and then the result of that will be the index where this element is uh, uh, where this element can be present in the data structure right so in this case uh, we are trying to search for 7 right so when you up when you give 7 to this hash function it's going to generate the output generated will be uh, 6 in this case right 6 so uh, then we just go and check the location 6 and see if 7 is present there or no right if it is present, then the uh, the hash table or hash set or the data structure that is using hashing uh, contains k in it. So the lookup works. Uh, let me just repeat this quickly again. 
So the idea here is that instead of comparing k with the elements of the input array uh, to get the index uh, where it may be present, what we do is we instead from k we we directly calculate the index where it may be present. Okay, so we have a hash function. We have a hash function that takes input as k, and the result of that hash function will be the index where uh, you have to look up in the uh, data structure. Because if you look at, uh, if we know the if we know the index, then it's uh, it's easy to figure out whether the element is present at that location or no, right? And uh, since this uh, hash uh, operation or equation, uh, it, it's a mathematical equation. It it will run fairly quickly, and it uh, the time taken by this hash function is constant. If you it's if you uh, think about it, it does not depend on the size of our data structure. Whereas in case of linear search and binary search, uh, if you look at the time complexity, is dependent on the input length, right? If there are thousand elements, it will it's going to take thousand operations. If there are million elements, it's going to take million operations in worst case. But in case of uh, uh, hashing, the hash function just takes the key that we are trying to look up. So the time complexity in no way depends on the length of the input. That's why we call it as O of one or constant time complexity it is not so so a good hash function will be fast and it will generate unique result for every input that it receives so there are some challenges uh, uh, that you know we will discuss in next video we will discuss uh, how chaining works with hashing uh, what what happens if there are uh, if there are collisions or if the if the hash function produces same result for more than one input 